Hey guys, Dr. Berg here. In this video, I'm going to talk about vitamin D deficiencies. And specifically, when you go get a test, you want to make sure that you always have them assess not just the inactive version of vitamin D, but the active version of vitamin D. There's two types. And uh, when you go to the doc or you go to the, uh, the lab to get tested, rarely do they assess the active uh, type of vitamin D. The inactive type is the most commonly one assessed, and that's called 25-hydroxy vitamin, vitamin D. The active is 125-dihydroxy vitamin D, okay? Just make notes of those words and just present that to your uh, practitioner when you, get, when you wanna get testing because there's several situations that can occur um, if you have low inactive vitamin D but high active vitamin D, okay? Because a lot of things can influence this. Um, for example, if you have low inactive and low active, that could be just because you're not consuming vitamin D in your diet, which is mainly, mainly animal products, uh, or if a, you're a vegan, it could come from mushrooms, but it also comes from sun. So let's say you get no sun, well, it's going to be low, right? Uh, because vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin, it gets stored in the body for a period of time, but you could eventually become depleted. Or let's say, for example, um, your gallbladder is missing, or you have a gallbladder problem and you don't have enough bile because you're bile deficient now. That's the consequence of not having a gallbladder or you just don't concentrate the bile. So thereby you don't, you can't di even digest the, uh, um, the uh, vitamin D because it's a fat soluble vitamin. So you're always becoming deficient because of that. Or let's say another scenario where you uh, have gastric bypass surgery. Well, this is another situation where you could have low vitamin D because the comp, uh, compromised digestive system, something's missing. Another situation is um, the parathyroid. The parathyroid controls vitamin D, okay? It actually activates an enzyme to convert the inactive to the active. So most problems with the parathyroid, especially a, a tumor in the parathyroid, they have a lot of that hormone coming out, creating this conversion all the time. So they have high levels of calcium, and very high levels of active vitamin D, but very low inactive because it's being converted, because the parathyroid gland triggers an enzyme to make this conversion. So with a parathyroid problem, you'll have low um, inactive, but you'll have high active. So if you don't know that, and they only test this one version, you start consuming this uh, vitamin D, and you don't really need it. You need to fix the parathyroid. So a lot of things will influence um, these tests. Like kidney function, liver function, if you're taking acid blockers uh, for uh, GERD or heartburn, taking medication, diuretics, steroids, adrenal stress, autoimmune disease, all these things influence um, your vitamin D levels. So here's the summary. Basically, always check your inactive and your active so you can compare and look at the big picture, okay? Thanks for watching.